so I and hello this is again alan the forex algo trader in today's uh, lesson i'm going to show you or uh, reveal to you or explain to you the only forex trading strategy to make you profitable and rich and uh, i do believe that uh, this this trading strategy is a uh, widely is uh, widely used and uh, you should implement it in your trading endeavors in that uh, case so technically this trading strategy that i am talking about it is the 531 trading strategy technically the 531 trading strategy is a simple guide to uh, that is technically used by 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 many forex traders to help establish the best the best forex trading plan for their for their own style that yeah basically for their own style in this case so just let's let's cut the crap and get into into this 531 trading tra strategy right away the the element number five in this uh, case designates that uh, or denotes in this case that you should focus on on only five major currency pairs in this case that you should learn and trade at uh, at the overall in this uh, instance so by this you certainly dedicate time to to only five currency pairs or how do i even call it or symbols in this case if we were to do this in a more programming manner or a or a commodities in this case which helps you again gain a, a deeper understanding of how the forex of all the the pairs that you have chosen in this case move and even correlate so the then again the the element three the er, the the element number three in this case denotes the the three specific and prime strategies to become an expert on and uh, use with your trades or trading activities this again helps you discover the capabilities of these strategies or the indicators that you have used in this case finding uh, loopholes that are in them and then managing them by, by by maybe applying filters or any other method in this case that you find uh, fitting <laughs> in this case to 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 cover in the loopholes and optimize the the strategies or the indicators that you have chosen the three prime indicators that you have chosen other than like just hopping into strategies and indicators and then dumping them eventually even without optimizing them without finding the capabilities within within them so this um, helps you stay focused and staying focused uh, to to these three prime strategies or indicators that you use in these uh, keeps case helps you to to keep a trading plan optimize the strategies and indicators and also most importantly ensures that you don't become confused by using too many indicators to to an extent they even begin to 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 contradict and the, uh, they even begin to contradict each other and uh, and show mixed signals in this case whereby you use let's say you are using three kind of trend indicators an example is uh, you are using a moving average and then in correlation you are using a marked so like a marked and a moving average they just show trend confirmation they just show the trend the, the trend of the market at that current or particular time so using a marked and moving average crossover in this case let's say for example they just like correlate they will present the same signals most of the times in this case so actually you can even achieve this in a in three basic and prime uh, steps so first you need to pick up a, a specific trading style that suits you like uh, maybe scalping swing trading news trading all that kind of uh, trading styles in this uh, case and then secondly you choose at most three indicators that work best with your trading style in this case you can maybe choose a trending indicator and then you can also use let's say a, a volume indicator or a, an auxiliator let's say for example combining a moving average and a, combining a moving average and a RSI which other one that you can combine you can also combine moving average and stochastic yes those i do know you you know them in this case you can combine them and maybe 
use a correlation of a, of a, yeah, over a trend line in this case eventually and then finally you then decide on a risk management strategy that uh, again fits your trading style for example scalpers may use like uh, after entering the market in this case that is what we mean for for example scalpers may use the trailing stops to, to like uh, capture gains lock-ins more profits and even prevent losses in this case eventually maybe for a swing trade or a day trade in this case you may close your positions whenever another counter signal is presented just like you 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 get it in this uh, instance and then finally the element number one denotes the one designated the dedicated trading session where the currency pairs that you have chosen in this case are most volatile and active so you just like uh, you don't need to trade on each and every forex trading session even though even though the markets are open 24 7 you just like majorly need to focus on a particular prime trading session where where the commodities that you have chosen are most active and volatile in this uh, case like for uh, let us take for example how do usd the, the trading trading the australian dollar let's say trading the trading the australian dollar for the in our example the usd during the australian working sessions generally which overlaps the the is what is it called the asian session this uh, case asian trading session this gives you maximum like maximum uh, maximum gains like maximum volatility liquidity in this case it is most active over there while the us dollar in the on the other end is most active during the new york session in this uh, kind of uh, instance so trading out usd let's say in the new york session would give or would optimize would give the best results during that session because it is when it is most volatile most trading it is the working sessions for the out usd other than the other sessions in this case if you want to enter the trading the trade any time that you want it is not advisable just trade it on that particular trading session that that particular currency pair is most active and by doing this you are a step towards becoming a professional and a profitable trader in the in the long run so that is basically what you need you just need the five three one trading strategy to be professional and to be profitable so thank you